bassoon is the lowest instrument of the woodwind family and makes a distinctive sound which is sometimes used for comic effect. <laughs> but it can play beautifully. That was the famous opening to Stravinsky's Rite of Spring, which, when it was written, was some of the highest notes that the bassoon had to play in orchestra. But nowadays, on a modern bassoon, most players find that quite easy. The range of the bassoon goes right down from the low B-flat, below bass clef, all the way up to the E at the top of the treble clef. So it's got a range of about three and a half octaves. And like the oboe, we use a double reed, which is just one piece of cane folded back on itself and tied at the bottom. Now, in the orchestra, there are two bassoons and we sit just behind the oboes. But sometimes you might see a third bassoonist there playing contra bassoon. I'm gonna play you the lowest notes of the bassoon and then the lowest notes of the contra bassoon, which I'll show you in a second for comparison. The contra bassoon is about twice the length of the bassoon but folded back on itself. In the 19th century, the bassoon wasn't a very loud instrument. So composers sometimes wrote for four bassoons so that they could be heard. The bassoon was an important instrument in the earliest orchestras in the 17th century, where they supported the bass line played by the cellos. Mozart wrote only one concerto for the instrument, but it's probably the most famous concerto on the bassoon but he also used the bassoon a lot in his orchestrations. And then there's also this concerto by Weber. But after that work, written in 1811, there is no concerto of significance until over a hundred years later. We do get to play in the wind quintet though, and here's music by Grant Still. The bassoon is rarely heard in jazz ensembles and doesn't often crop up in popular music, although these new Puritans feature the bassoon in their album Hidden, and here's a taste of the contemporary quintet Edmund Wade. <laughs> 